Okay, this is the first part in making that God's bow preset. Uh, for this example, I'm going to be hitting, uh, let's see, C2, C3, C4. I'm going to be hitting C5, since that's like the easiest note for me to lean over and press. Um, let's get started by going to our common tab. And then I'm just going to switch this real fast um, to a different EXI instrument and then switch back to mod 7. So it creates an initialized patch. The only thing that's going to um, remain the same are these uh, are the settings in this window. I had simply dropped it in octave, but otherwise this is just a completely blank mod 7 patch. All we have is our sine wave going to the output. Uh, since this preset is based off of um, a radius preset, I had actually used the PCM oscillator. Um, so I think this is probably the easiest part of this. So jump into the, uh, send the PCM oscillator to the output jump into the PCM oscillator tab, uh, and then you're going to choose Waveform 1100, which is SAW EXB. Uh, it stands for, it's EXB because it's it's the expansion board that was for the M3, but it's the MMT engine from the radius, so it, sound, it's, it's a, that, it sounds exactly like the sawtooth from the radius. Um, now you're going to want to drop that an octave. And then we for our envelope, it's on envelope generator seven. We're gonna to want to change that. Uh, I'm gonna jump over to the amp real fast, and then jump over to the amp envelope because it's gonna help illustrate something about the way that envelopes work in mod seven. Put the break and sustain all the way up. Give it some attack time. <clears throat> Seventy-two is fine. Give it some release. Doesn't matter. Somewhere around 70, 75. And when we press a key, we're going to hear it swell, as you'd expect, with a long attack. But then the release suddenly cuts off. The reason for that is because the oscillators are using their own individual envelopes. And those envelopes are naturally set at a kind of almost like an organ envelope. Um, so that means that they're getting, they're reaching full volume immediately. But then the, the slow attack of the amp envelope is shaping the swell. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our PCM oscillator and just take off the envelope. We're going to want to do the same thing for um, VPM oscillators 1 and 2. Now I'm going to jump into the patch panel and turn down the, uh, the sawtooth waveform so then you can really hear what we're going to do Next, we're going to turn it back up at the end of the patch. So I'm patching operator 2 or VPM oscillator 2 into the input of operator 1. And then I'm just going to uh, click on a part of oscillator 2 and hit jump to take us to VPM oscillator 2's page immediately. Uh, for the ratio, actually, let's take the... Um, Let's take the volume down. Our volume in this instance is controlling the amount of FM that's occurring. You, we can uh, turn that up, I think, yeah, 40. And then for ratio, turn that on to 5. Now for our alternate modulation source, we're going to want to choose LFO1. And give that an intensity of... Uh, I think like 20. Yeah, 20 is good. It sounded funny for a second there because I had accidentally um, released a key and then pressed it again. Actually, it didn't do it that time. I don't know why it sounded funny. You guys heard it, I'm sure. That weird, uh, it sounded almost like the LFO was traveling faster than normal. Anyway, jump into the LFO page. Choose a uh, random four continuous. It's just a regular sample and glide. Take off key sync, put on MIDI tempo sync. That's what it sounds like. And jump into the patch panel. Let's turn our sawtooth up again. Excellent. That's it for part one. In part two, I'm going to show you how to do a parallel routing because we're going to want to 
have this source sound. This is why I named it God's Bose Source. We're going to want to have this source sound in a parallel configuration going to a bandpass filter and a comb filter. The way we do that is we just duplicate this preset and then we're going to uh, have an instance of str1 and uh, I'll show you I'll show you how to set up the routing for that. And then in the part after that I'm going to um, show you exactly what we're going to be doing with that comb filter and then I'll go over the effects. Maybe in a fourth video. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to split these up. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, feel free to like, uh, comments, whatever. I don't know. I always see people begging at the end of YouTube videos for that kind of stuff. So I don't know if that actually helps. But but thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next parts. Okay.